Is it a plane? No. Is it Superman? No. Is it a bird? It's Sam Wilson, also known as the Falcon. The Falcon is a famous flying superhero, most recognizably played by Anthony Mackie on the big screen. Unlike several of his comrades, Sam has no superpowers, but is rather known for his super cool winged jetpack, the wings on it which give him his name. Now Sam, much like our previously discussed friend the Flash, is quite dependent on vectors to be a crime fighter. But because of the aerial nature of his skills, he relies on a little more than simple horizontal travel. He needs to master some slightly harder concepts in order to successfully soar through the skies. Sam needs to understand the elusive resultant vectors. Resultant vectors are more or less what they sound like. They are the result of two vectors existing at the same time and in the same place. They combine to make an even better one. What happens is the vectors both act in different directions but by acting together their work combines to act in an entirely new direction one really easy way to figure out the direction is called the parallelogram law in the picture it's shown this way you form a parallelogram by duplicating both vectors and the diagonal of that parallelogram is the resultant vector easy right now back to the falcon how does he use resultant vectors Well, quite simple really. His jetpack does two things while he's flying. It pushes him upwards and it also pushes him forwards, which leads to him for flying diagonally upwards, just like the picture shows. As you can see, by flying upwards and pushing forwards at the same time, the resultant vector pushes him through the skies, allowing him to take on everything from rogue helicarriers to the children of Thanos. You have been watching another episode of Super Science. This is the show where I show you how superheroes use physics and you absorb this information and become a physics master yourself. Don't forget to like, subscribe, read comics and watch movies. Super Science out. <laughs>